Hey folks, what's up? My name is Noah Chrysler, the RIT Newsman, and this is the International Business Program at RIT Croatia. International Business Program is a program offered at RIT's Croatia Zagreb campus. We talked to a bunch of people who know a lot more about it than I do, and here they are. We are here with Milivoj Markovic. Why does RIT Croatia emphasize the international part of business? To equip people to be able to apply the skills no matter the cultural setting they, they find themselves in. How do some standard recipes in terms of strategy, organizational behavior, how do those kind of approaches change when you have to account for cultural diversity? Being more of a collectivist culture, being more of an individualist culture. My name is Maya Vidovic. The organizational behavior class that you're teaching, you guys are doing an abroad project. Basically, we're combining students here in Zagreb campus with students from Rochester campus. We just shuffle them together, say, this is a team now, and here, this is a project, go work on it. Before they start, we tell them that they have to sign a contract in which they then describe what are going to be the roles of each student, how they're going to communicate, what happens if somebody slacks, you know, we're not reaching in. So, like, you basically just say, hey, write a contract and you deal with problems on your own. That's how business is today. <laughs> are here with Petra Vuxen. Awesome. Now you guys were a part of the Saunders Exchange Program. So you spent five weeks in Rochester and then you also studied with Rochester students here for an additional five weeks. For me it was probably the best experience that I had in college and probably in life. Both Americans and Croatians were together. We were like a family kind of and yeah. that was the mo probably like the best part of it. So did you find that the classes there did they integrate into your schedule well? Yeah it was uh, they were the same classes that we would uh, usually have here. It was really interesting because our cultures are really different. They were super surprised by how we party until like 5 or 6 a.m. because they party until 2. <laughs> They have an event going on today called the International Food Dinner Day. We're going to go sample those dishes from the different countries of the classes of the programs of the languages. And we're going to go make some new friends. Here we go. We are here with our new friend. Yeah. Are you IB or are you IT? IB. IB. I just hiccuped. I'm sorry. I ate a lot of food and it was delicious. We are here with... Franko Bakovic. So you said you've studied abroad in Iowa, or you lived there for, for a small amount of time, correct? Yeah, for almost like one semester there. What do you think about freedom? <laughs> Have you met any American students? <laughs> yeah, of course. What do you think about them? I would say that Americans are much more individualistic. America is a free country. If you want to buy a bagel, you have like 50 different types of bagels. You have freedom to buy bagels, but in the different things you don't. That's in the Bill of Rights. Freedom of bagels. <laughs> do you know there's like 32 different types of ragu sauce? So do you know many American students here that study here? Yes. What differences do you see in those students versus Croatian students? Our math is more advanced. <laughs> There is a, an event today going on called Career Education Day. Basically, it's like the uh, career fair, you know, a bunch of companies come. We are here with... Don Hudspeth, uh, President and Dean of RIT Croatia. Can you tell us what today is and what it's about? Well, it's our annual Career Education Day event. It's uh, an event for all of our students. Give them an opportunity to be able to find out about different types of industry and business, particularly for freshman students who are just starting their path. We're in Croatia, but we're RIT. We also want to make sure that there's going to be opportunities for those individuals to be employed. We are here with... Sven, Sven Kovacevic. You have introduced me to this vibrational facial cleanser. It's called the Luna 2 from the company called Fodeo. I've been working for Fodeo for about a year and a half. You're also president of student government, correct? Uh, yes, I have been so for the past year. There's also two other campuses that RIT has, right? There's the Kosovo campus and the Dubai campus. If you had to, you know, map different members of the student government to the five members of the new Justice League movie that just came out. I know I'm definitely Superman. Nobody can take that away from me. And Nico could definitely pull off a good Batman. Farid speaks very fast, so I'd give him the flash. Kosovo could uh, have the Wonder Woman. Dubai, I guess, 
just why it could be Aquaman in that case, because they got the C and everything, right? Students in Rochester can come here for one semester and take courses that perfectly integrate to their schedule. Because the courses are the same and delivering the same kind of sequence, it is seamless. We are RIT. It's not like we're some affiliated a school. So advice to RIT Rochester students who are thinking about studying abroad. Yes, you should do it. Talk to people who have gone. Ask them honestly. Say, hey, what was the good point? What was the bad point? Yeah. Take advantage of it now and don't rely on time travel being discovered so you can come back and go back <laughs> study abroad. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video about the international business program here at RIT Zagreb, make sure you hit the like button. And hey, if you guys are interested in doing that program and potentially studying here for a whole semester, click the first link in the description. You'll learn everything you need to know. Guys, if you would like to attend RIT, click the next link in the description. You'll learn everything you need to know. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. If you could share this on your timeline, I would love you forever. Goodbye. Gonna go learn something. <laughs>